Cut. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So today I'm going to be going over the Perfection 4-in-1 from Maybelline. This is what it looks like. It comes in four shades. The shade that I have is Fair Light. And it's supposed to blend into your real skin tone when it hits the skin. And it only has four available. It has Fair Light, Light, Medium, and Medium Deep. Honestly, should have gotten light and not Fair Light because I'm not that fair. Well, I'm not that light. But it's $12.99 at Ulta. It just released a couple days ago, I believe, and it's already out of stock. You can get it out Ulta Beauty online, have Maybelline website. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just go over the product. I did try it once already out for like an hour and I took it off and um, it was pretty cool, but we're gonna do a whole day. I'm gonna wear it, go to work. It's now 3.08 in Houston. So we're gonna see how long it lasts because I gotta work till 12 a.m. First and foremost, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment to show your girl some love and make sure you share so you can help me get to a thousand subscribers. Once I hit that thousand subscribers, I will be showing you guys my skin routine regimen honestly i used to have a problem with my skin and i would not leave the house without makeup on because i didn't feel good and i started learning about skincare and self-love and all that and now my skin is on bleak on a thousand whatever you want to call it but i'm loving my skin and now i don't feel like i need to you know wear makeup and i want to share that secret with y'all so help me get there anyways let's get into it let's go them. first i'm gonna prep my skin prepping your skin is the most important thing when it comes to applying makeup so your skin and the all the stuff foundation and products you're gonna put glides on instead of caking on because your girl be putting on a lot of makeup when she wants the glam okay so why we call it glam. First, wash your hands. Don't be nasty. Put your germs on your hands. I'm going to go in with my lip scrub. I got it at Marshalls. No, TJ Maxx. I know. My nails is broken. If you watch my vlog, I already talked about it. Yes. I broke two of my nails. While I was at work, I broke two of my nails. Wine got spilled all over me. Girl, I had a long day yesterday, okay? And then I'm gonna wipe that off. That scrapes off like the dead skin and stuff. Now I'm gonna put my agave lip mask on. So while I beat my face, my lip is super moisturized and super soft. So it can be ready for a lip gloss, lip balm, I mean lip balm, lip gloss, matte lipstick, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go in with my Unique Tea Tree Serum. It suits skin, power relief, natural moisturize, brightening, and wrinkle care. I just like to put that on. So my face is like super moisturized when I put everything on then I'm gonna go in with my reboost from my Clarins right here to add some moisturizer to my skin you always want to go like this to deep up out your eyes you know what I mean Ooh, that got in my eye a little bit and then of course you want to Put a protection layer on your skin with the sunscreen. My last makeup video, I put too much of the sunscreen. Oh, my face looked at what and crazy. Put down your neck and your chest because you want that covered as well. 
Then I'm gonna go in with my Yonka toner. Toner, ladies, is really supposed to put water and hydration back into your skin. That's what a toner is for. When you deep exfoliate and all that jazz, a toner is supposed to help balance out your skin. Just a little lesson there if you ain't know. Now you know. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Since you're already five minutes in, go ahead. <laughs> um, in my next vlog, I'm gonna teach you guys how I white, whiten my teeth at home. So you don't have to spend a pretty check on getting your teeth whitened. So get into it. I'm dropping that video on Wednesday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Make sure you go watch the video so you can get my little, little secrets. Um, I'm gonna prep. I'm gonna go find my primer, hold on. So when all of that, my skin is prepped, ready to go, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. primer right here to prime my face. When I wear a cheap, um, a cheap affordable makeup, I like to prime my face. Um, just so, just in case if the foundation doesn't stay, like how it should, the primer would help just a little bit. You know what I mean? So, I'm gonna test. When you open it, it like twists like this. Like the foundation is supposed to. Yeah, I think I'm twisting the wrong way. No, I'm not twisting the right way. And then the foundation comes on. And the brush. And then just light it on the skin. It feels really, really soft on the skin. If you want to see my first, like very first reaction to this foundation, go follow me on TikTok. My ad name is still the same, it's at that new new. And you can actually see my first, like my actual first look that I did and my initial reaction. When I had this foundation on, I still feel the same. I think it's soft. It's very lightweight. It can definitely become like a full coverage foundation if that's what you are looking for. I think I'm gonna do a light day today since I know I'm going to be sweating a lot. It's like gliding on. It's definitely moisturizing, but it's definitely like light to medium coverage. So the foundation, the reason why it's four in one, it gives a transformation of four products in one step. A primer, a concealer, and a highlighter, and a BB cream all in one. So a BB cream, as you all know, you don't need a lot of shade. You put it on and it should blend into your skin as if it is your skin. So, so far, I think I picked the right color. I should have picked a little bit, my, maybe a light color because I do self-tan and I kind of forgot because the t So... I'm gonna let that dry a little bit since it has like primer and stuff and I don't want to, yeah. I think I'm gonna blend it out with a beauty blender. As you can still see my like imperfection right there. Blending it out with my beauty blender. I think because this foundation is so light, it's like a BB cream. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, underpaint my face and then put another layer of foundation on. 
I know I told y'all it's gonna be a light bee, but a light bee for me, maybe still a lot of makeup for y'all. I don't know. Me, I don't normally wear a lot of makeup, and if I do wear makeup, I'm wearing makeup. Like, that's how I look at it, that's how I feel. Like, if you're gonna wear makeup, wear it to the fullest. Don't have limitation, wear it to the fullest. That's the whole point of wearing makeup. But, I know we all have our own opinions. That is just my opinion and my perspective on where we go. A lot of people don't like to kick it on. They just, you know, like a little sum sum, and that's okay. That's just not my speed though. If I'm gonna glam, baby, I'm gonna glam. One thing about new is when I'm going, we're going full throttle. <laughs> this is my angle brush that I use to be more precise. It's for really my nose contouring, but since it's working out with the rest of the face, I'm not even going to switch brushes. If I can honestly use a brush for something more than one thing, I I will. Because the whole purpose, like you're supposed to know how to manipulate, manip manipulate, manipulate how to apply makeup on, you know? Like you don't have to have one thing for one product. Like if it works, more than multiple then do it like i think makeup should be free game and you can do whatever it is that you want to do if you want to have swiggle eyebrows who am i to tell you that's ugly who am i who is anybody like if you feel like using that foundation as a concealer or as a contour, which I've done before. Nobody can tell you. Do what you want. If that's what you're feeling, honey, do it. Just do it. I'm going to go in with my NYX Dewy Finish and spray it on my Beauty Blender. Okay? And then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Foundation again. We'll clean it off right here. No color. The contour got a little egg crazy out of here. Right here, a little bit. And then I'm gonna use my beauty blender and blend it out. See if it gives me a fuller glam. It does. And it doesn't feel like cakey, like I have a pound of makeup on my face. It's like gliding on my face pretty nicely. Next, so it looks the same. I keep this look very cheap for you guys. So I'm gonna use my Ben Nile in pink, pretty pink. Mine, go to your, um, you know, local makeup store that has it for a MUA or makeup artist. They should have it there. If not, you can go online and purchase it. It's very inexpensive. It's not that expensive. The Pretty in Pink, I feel like it gives like the pink glow on the cheek. That's why I'm putting it in. Right there, I'm just going to tap the rest of it all over the face. 
I don't want to put the pink directly on the face because I only want it in the cheeks area. Okay. And then for my under eyes, I'm going to go in with my Bin Nile, but in white. This gives me the under white color that I always do in my makeup look. It just brightens up my under eyes. I know it looks white right now, but trust me, trust the process. You're not going to look crazy. After everything, like it just goes really well together. Then, I'm going to use my blush again. I spray it with the setting powder. And then I'm going to go all over my face once again. You see how that like just blends out. I think this foundation is really, really nice because all the product is like working together. Like, that's how a foundation should be, I feel like. Um, it should work with your other products and if it doesn't, it's not really a good foundation. Of course, we have to highlight our face with my Kaja Trio right here and my fan brush to highlight that in like my nose and then I have this fluffy brush for my brush blush flush blush by Ulta Beauty I think I got that for eight dollars I believe So pinky and rose. And then I'm gonna go in with my Kaja Rose Pink over here. Put some on to enhance the pink. And then I'm gonna go in with my other pink that's like really pink to top off the game. And then next I'm gonna go in with my contour brush from Powder Blush. It's a angle blush i'm gonna go in with my anastasia amber y'all know if y'all are old here y'all already know if y'all are new here this is my favorite bronzer summer winter time whichever time i'm wearing this bronzer because it gives me that bronze i'm pretty pasty and this contour gives me that Give me the bronze. I love my Revolution. It's so affordable. It's eight bucks. It's like a highlighter, but glowy bronze. The same blush brush that I used with my white powder, I'm just gonna clean off the little contour that I did on my nose with my angle brush. And my nose is super contoured. Use the e.l.f. triple stipple brush right here to do that i think that's like the easiest way to contour your nose let your brush do the work for you you don't have to do it yourself i love this big fan brush because it blends out everything so well i'm holding it at the end so it doesn't overpower or move anything too much you know what i mean i'm gonna finish off like now the base of my face is done i'm gonna finish off with my makeup look and my eye look and then we're gonna leave the house and start the wear test
So my glam is finished. Let me turn on the light. Turn on the light. Or <laughs> so you guys. That's my dog. You see. So you guys, this is the final look with my foundation. Um, my initial thought was that this foundation is light, it's very buildable, it's relaxed, and it's cheap. It's only $12.99. $12. Um, I think you should definitely give it a try if you have oily skin. It's so hydrating right now. The corner of my lashes is pissing me off. I feel like if you have dry skin, you would really love this because a, um, a BB, a BB cream, why couldn't I just think of that? A BB cream is very light, it's buildable, it's just really easy to wear not too heavy when it comes to it's not too thick of a foundation so if i think that's what if you're going for it will be great i feel like you can definitely utilize it and make it full foundation if you use like setting powder contour a press powder on top of this i think this is a great foundation to have those building layering of makeup so it becomes a very powerful glam so that's my initial thought from the first take that i had this foundation i would definitely recommend this foundation because it's very cheap affordable you can really just wear this and go somewhere you don't have to do a full glam if you know what I mean. So hopefully this lasts. I don't know if it lasts or not because last time I didn't wear a long time. I didn't wear this foundation for a long time. So I can't say that just yet. So we're going to go throughout the day. I'm going to work at 4.45. I'm clocking in. But right now I'm going to go to my girlfriend, smoke some hookah. I'm going to be sitting outside. I'm going to keep you guys updated. And at the end of this video, you're going to find out if it's sweat proof or you know if this is just a couple hours you're not going to wear a little light work a little slight light but i'll check in on you guys a little bit later hi babies so it is exactly not exactly it is 12 42 here in houston seven hours of the foundation excuse me seven hours after the fact that i wore the foundation that we tried out earlier this is my face i did not fix up anything blot anything i had on a whole mess for a solid seven hours that i was at work and then i was outside for like a good 30 minutes sweating and i think this foundation did a great job it's a little bit off right here since i was wearing a mask but other than that i think this foundation is pretty solid for 12 dollars would i recommend it for oily skin i wouldn't because i feel like it's super like creamy and i can feel like my t-zone being like super early early oily my t-zone is very oily so i don't think you should try it if you have oily skin but if you have dry to combination skin i think you should definitely give this a try and that concludes my review i hope you guys um i try this foundation because i definitely think it's worth a try it's only 12 bucks y'all 12 bucks super super inexpensive so don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future videos on every wednesday and sunday at 3 p.m eastern time if i'm slow and my internet is slow at uploading the video i will have it on the very next day but like comment share 
and let me know what you think and i'll see you guys next time bye babies